I am Stella McCartney. I am here at Amoeba Music in Los Angeles, and this is what's in my bag. The first ones that I was going to pick out are all Beatles or Wings, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Neil, Mr. Young, I was brought up kind of on Harvest and stuff like that, and um, my mum took beautiful photographs of Neil, so I always just remembered kind of looking at him as this sort of iconic, gorgeous young man. I think After Harvest, this is a really great one. One of the songs I love on it very much is Only Love Can Break Your Heart. Yes, only Growing up in England, being half American, where I grew up, it was really not heard of, and yet in my life at home, he was kind of the holy grail, so Neil Young. Tim Harden, I remember when I was younger listening to um, Reason to Believe, and I guess I listened to the, it was Rod Stewart, right? Someone like you makes it hard to live with somebody else. And that was kind of the one that was famous, but Tim Harden wrote it, and when I heard his original version of that song, I was just blown away by the sort of poetry of his work. Knowing that you lied, straight face while I cried, still I look to find a reason to believe. Just so pure and raw, and really back to the basics, and this album really kind of opened my eyes to the simplicity of music, just everything about that song in particular. Okay, this is kind of weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm like an 86 year old. <laughs> My next one is Julie London, and I don't even know how it came about really. I think it was probably my mum and dad that sort of told me about her and made me listen to her because I don't think many people of my age group rock out to Julie London that often. It was always someone that I wanted to be able to sing like when I heard her vocals. They were just so sort of sensual and warm and just really straight to the point, and I think that um, you don't find vocals like that anymore. She also has great breasts, which is always good. Cry Me A River is, for me, an extraordinary song, and it happens to be the first song. Cry me a river, I cried a river over you. This album is probably on everyone's list. And my big memory of this album was one day um, we were traveling as a family and we got off an airplane and got into my dad's car and he had this amazing sound system. It was a sort of 90s moment where sound systems in cars was like a big deal. This album is one of the most pivotal albums, obviously, for him also and um, was a big influence for things like Sgt. Pepper. So I just remember listening to this on this incredible sound system in this car and just it blowing my brains, really. And God only knows what I'd be without you. And um, God Only Knows makes me want to cry, even saying the title like I actually want to cry, because it is one of the most breathtaking songs I think ever written. And I do find it very emotional. It reminds me of my mum, and I'm gonna cry now, but I'm not gonna cry because that would be ridiculous. So I'm moving on. Then again, Radiohead was something that we were all listening to, even though they're sort of an 80s stroke 90s band. I think that they are kind of old and new. Like for me, they cross over everything I've put down here. They're as strong as and continue to be. I feel like they're just so cool because they don't give a shit and they don't, you know, they don't try to be anything they're not. They don't do gigs for cash, they don't turn up at anything. Like, I love them, I love Tom York, I think he's like a god. I'm a winner, Creep for me is one of the most wicked and yet heartbreakingly beautiful songs. I don't know, I think it's one of the sexiest songs of life, actually. Creep. This is the new Grimes album. I'm just a really big fan of her in general. I just think she represents the kind of new generation of women that I want to see 
going forward. You know, I have two young girls and I want them to be grimes when they get big. <laughs> There's just a group of women in music and there's very few that are this kind of woman. I grew up with Chrissy Hines, with you know, Debbie Harry and just strong, really opinionated women in music in a man's world, I think, in, in that day and age. And I feel like Grimes is the next one, you know, like she has something to say and she is strong yet fragile and just really talented and really, I think, versatile in the kind of music that she's representing. She's directing her own videos. She's just a, a big talent, I think. This, I think, is a great album. Girls and Boys is brilliant. Girls and boys. I went to an art school called St. Martin's and music and art and fashion were kind of really melting together very much in London and um, this album, you know, has great memories for me of that time. I'm a big fan of, of Damon's work. I think he's a brilliant musician. I've sort of really been interested watching him go into slightly more sort of classical work and more theatre, you know, and, and I've really enjoyed seeing that progression for him. Okay, I'm going to do a Wings moment. You know, this is, I guess, when my mum comes in. For me, musically, I mean, everything about this album, I just think was so sort of genius. The fact that they did a little film and they did this whole kind of band on the run thing, the, the cast that they had. I guess emotionally I'm obviously very attached to it, but just as a fashion designer as well, I look at it and I look at my mum and I think, my God, she didn't have any makeup on. She cut her own hair. What a free spirit. Like what women in that day and age would have the balls to go on tour with their husband when it probably wasn't the first thing on her list of things to go and do. I just think, what a woman. And then on a musical side, you know, I love all the songs on it, but I guess they very much remind me of my childhood because they're some of the first songs that I heard over and over again as a kid. I have great respect for Wings. This is Jeff Buckley. Before this album came out, I was at Saturday Night Live in New York and Jeff came along and from the moment we met, we became really good friends. My mum was good friends with his father and took beautiful pictures of his dad. This album meant a lot to me because number one, it was it's an extraordinary album and it was the first time I really heard the song Hallelujah and just it kind of ripped my heart out and sent it up into the sky and then it plummeted down to earth and got squashed on again. When he was sort of promoting it, he did this tiny little gig on um, Denmark Street, which in London is the street where all the guitar shops are. He played this little acoustic set of the album in a basement about as big as this room with like 20 of us. And so he kind of just sang it to us. And it was a real moment that I feel very privileged to have been part of and to have seen because then after that it all sort of took off for him and then he was and then I went to see him play bigger gigs and then I end on god this is getting so fucking sad man another person that I really miss that I cannot believe which I don't think anyone can believe is no longer here physically on this earth is Mr Bowie is there life on Mars? Hunky Dory, one of the greatest albums ever created. I have this on vinyl. I can't believe I'm holding up a little pissy CD as my end thing. This is wrong. It should be big. It should be bigger than this room. It's weird, you know, I've been thinking about it a lot and I haven't actually quite come to terms with what you say about David Bowie, really, considering he just represented everything. You know, he was like just a one-off creature that we were so privileged to have seen in our lifetime. You know, I feel completely honored to have actually known him. Like, that blows my brains. And this album is beautiful. All of his albums were, really. My age group more was um, all the kind of Let's Dance and everything and China Girl and all that. So, I don't know, what a beautiful soul. So there you go, that's my bag. <laughs> Not the most uplifting bag you've probably ever come across. <laughs> 
Okay, I've got a happy bag. I can do my happy bag <laughs> next time. If you stay, you won't be sorry Cos we believe in you Soon you'll grow So take a chance With a couple of kooks Hung up on romance <laughs>